Minecraft YouTubers suck. And if you've ever watched a Minecraft videos of recently, you may have noticed they always have something in common. And that is that they are mostly the same. By that, I mean the ideas are the same, the intros are the same, and for the most part, the YouTubers are the same. So today, I'm going to tell you why you should not be watching these stereotypical, boring, and copied Minecraft videos, and should instead watch these better Minecraft videos. And I think the best place to start is to look at the beginning. Now to give you an idea of what a Minecraft intro is, it goes something a bit like This is an arbitrarily selected Say I'm playing item. Minecraft in a world order of one. Yeah. 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 Every time I get one, I just what is going on? These Minecraft intros literally flash 50 images in your face. Like, I don't even know what's happened. Now, if you're not familiar with this phenomenon, that's probably because you're either very old or you've generally found better Minecraft videos to watch. Now, this is literally almost every Minecraft video in the modern day. I cannot express to you how infuriating it is that I hear the same over-exaggerated voice of, this is the rarest item in Minecraft. What's worse about this is that everyone seems to be doing the same thing. And that brings us on to the idea. Now, I think it's no secret that everyone copies each other's Minecraft video. I mean, I'm technically copying a Minecraft video as we speak, with the major difference being that they're probably playing Bed Wars, while I'm standing up telling you with chess that Minecraft videos suck. It pretty much sums up what a Minecraft video should look like. But they don't. I mean, take for example these two videos. Now, at first glance, you might think that these Minecraft videos are actually different to each other. But, uh, spoiler alert, they are the exact same. I mean, the only difference between these two videos is that one decided to have a sword in the thumbnail, and the other one decided to have a chest plate in the thumbnail. I mean, round of, round of applause for the innovation from these guys. I mean, it only took a specific amount of resources and a specific amount of boring gameplay to get those resources, and then some random side quests so that you can extend the video duration beyond the face of the earth. And that's not even all. The innovation from these Minecraft YouTubers are so bad that it's literally easier to copy someone else's video, think of the objective a tiny bit, but still end up with the same video. And if that's not clear enough, let's take 100 players simulate civilization. Now let's take 100 players simulate desert civilization. What's the difference between these? Absolutely nothing. Well, I'm kind of lying here. The difference is that one of them is good and the other one's just a sad attempt at someone else's success. No, not all copying is bad. All right, you see how I'm talking to you face to face about why Minecraft videos are bad, whereas the Bed Wars guy is playing Bed Wars and telling you it's bad. That's all it takes to make a Minecraft video unique. You're probably wondering, how did we get to this point? Now, Minecraft videos weren't always like this. In fact, there used to be some of the most innovative videos on YouTube, just to name a few. Many of you have probably heard of these people by now, but the ideas, the originality of those videos back then really just stuck up to me. I mean, you didn't have to search for hours on end to find a good Minecraft video because they were already there. I could name countless examples. Lucky Blocks, Cops and Robbers, Hunger Games, Sky Factory, Factions, Mods, Let's Plays, you name it. The difference between now and then was that every video was different in their own right. Nobody copied each other and everyone was open to trying new things. And I remember every day I would open up YouTube to find a new Minecraft video that was not like the rest. Which contrary to today does not happen that much. I mean what would happen nowadays is that you would find a video with the same voice, the same gameplay and the same music as the others. And I mean heck you don't even want to know how many times Minecraft YouTubers have been actually bombing Super Mario Galaxy music. It's insane. In fact Back, to give you a timeline of Minecraft videos, we've gone from, ah yes, very peaceful, good old days Minecraft videos, to then moving on slightly to where Spat and Carpal decided to upload a masterpiece for everyone to enjoy, which was 2011. Moving forward, we had Stampy's Lovely World and the Diamond Minecraft, which was quickly overhauled by the Lucky Block Challenges by Pat and Jen. Top notch, right? 10 out of 10. To then everything suddenly dying in 2018 for, you know, mischievous circumstances, you know, dying just happened. And then everything respawned, and all was good. Until this happened. You know, sometimes I'm a, a bit concerned for, uh, you know, what kids are watching nowadays. But even then, ignoring the explicit content, we have even seen some of the greatest Minecraft videos on the website. I mean, the likelihood that most of you watching have seen a manhunt video by now. These are great videos. I mean, I still remember the good times of watching Stampy go to the moon in his lovely world series. And then I had myself actually try to go to the moon and wonder why I'm still not going to the moon. And come on, look, don't get me started on finding Hero Brian. And MCP. And that begs how it all went bad.
Now, I'm not gonna bore you with a YouTube algorithm, but in simplest terms, if you made a Minecraft video that people watched until the end, YouTube automatically assumes that people like the video, and most significantly, they get money for it. Now, you might think that's not the point, but for whatever reason, even if there's a majority of people that don't like these Minecraft videos, YouTube still figures out a way to say, well, that guy clearly didn't watch any of the Minecraft video. Let's recommend him with the same video. <sighs> Now, I know YouTube isn't the best at showing good Minecraft videos, and I understand that they are trying to do better. But when I see one of the best Minecraft videos on the website not even crack a million views, but then somehow see an idea that was repeated over and over again and will perform that specific video, I, I just think, wow, what a f***ed up website we rely on. What's even crazier is that when someone tries to upload a unique Minecraft video, there's a good chance it, it does something like this. I mean, what, what, what even happened? This was literally the previous Minecraft video from this YouTuber. But, you know, I mean, hey, they like it or they just think you no longer exist. I mean, this wasn't even a terrible video. It, it, you know, it kind of reminds me of all the good Minecraft videos that YouTube ignores. I mean, <laughs> I mean, just imagine you put all your dedicated work into a Minecraft video for YouTube to be like, yo, look at this dude, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I personally had that with my video and then I went on to YouTube later that day and uh, just found someone copying the copy of the copy that copied the copy That is the copy of the copy and yet they uh, they still outperform my videos So, you know, like this isn't even a joke and there's always a reason behind this uh, If you haven't figured out already some people aren't the brightest in the world and They usually don't care about what they watch. They just watch it and as a result we suffer from it. And that brings us on to the main question of why. Why do these YouTubers keep copying each other? Why are they so afraid to come up with new ideas? And I'll show you why. This right here is money. Now, what does money do? Uh, it helps you live. The only reason you're watching this video right now is because your parents use money to pay for the computer or the phone that you're watching this video on. And believe it or not, Minecraft YouTubers need money. Just a little side note, you know, Minecraft videos can earn you money. Oh my god, oh my gosh. Oh my god. Can you believe this YouTube money glitch? So to put it simply, Minecraft videos equals money. So when you equip this with YouTube's terrible system for recommending Minecraft videos, YouTube has just realized that it's easier to just copy someone else, which means that they get lots of money. And there's nothing wrong with that, all right? They, they need br they need bread. And even though I completely despise their ethics, in reality, things aren't going to change. But we can change that, because although all hope seems to be lost, I believe that we can end this repetitive cycle, which is why I'm calling upon your help. Because as much as I can keep trolling these Minecraft videos, we cannot win alone. Which is why I propose that if you subscribe and comment down below, make Minecraft great again, we can make Minecraft videos great again. I also now got a Discord, which we can use to assert our dominance over the Minecraft community, which I've linked below. So be sure to check out these videos, because I'm declaring war.